38 Romeo Victor is 12 to the north with Echo for a full stop. From 738 and 06 Gale Gulf traffic will be a sport cruiser departing prior to your arrival. Roger, looking for traffic for our 6 Gale Gulf. RV-8 Romeo Victor, that traffic's passed off your right, additional traffic. Uh, heading to your right, uh, climbing to uh, 3000 and IFR, northwestbound Bonanza. Looking for traffic, and I don't have that traffic in sight. 8 Romeo Victor, thank you. When you when we go up, you play RV-8 around. RV-8 Romeo Victor, your traffic to follow will you be uh, serious on about a two-mile left base for runway 19. You put your hand down here. On your arm. Two, looking for the Sirius, hold it down uh, here. Runway 19. I'll be a full stop. Oh, easy. It's like a PlayStation. Two, two, five, four, five, Sierra, Charlie Grand Delta. Two mile left base. Runway 19. Cleared for takeoff. Make left traffic. Five, four, five, Sierra, Charlie. Cleared for takeoff. Uh, runway 19. Make left traffic. Sierra, um, four, nine. I see kilo golf traffic. Sports cruiser departing prior to arrival. Runway 19. It's just like a PlayStation. You land. barely move it. Clear to land. Runway 19. Are looking for traffic uh, prior to my landing. RV-738, Romeo Victor number two, following the series 12 o'clock and a mile and a half. As soon as I get on the, uh, see, oh, so that guy right there. Knots, yeah. Runway 19, clear to land. So as soon as I get on the runway here, you'll see two, I'll switch to the lower flight, pedals. Uh, yeah. Down uh, here. Hey, Romeo Victor, yeah. thank you. And now we're just on... Wow, that wind is a bitch. Oh, oh, Nelly. <laughs> took yeah. off, took off pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, and used like no room at all. Um, see how my feet are down low now? Yeah. Experiment three zero six Delta Sierra Grand Delta. Extend down, and I'll call you base turn. That's cool. You get a little like uh, drop in your stomach too, and you're up, like. Yeah, it's cool. It's usually smooth as silk. It's gonna yeah. be a bumpy day for us. You're gonna get the full experience. Yeah, you're gonna get the budget ride. Yeah. Hell, I don't care. It's fun for me. So it's like. 1,600 feet, so like 500 feet off the ground, 600 feet off the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a crappy day. This landing is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> Remember 306 Delta Sierra, it'll be number two to follow that RV on about a mile final for a full stop runway, one nine clear okay, stop and go. Clear stop and go, one nine and we're looking for the RV traffic, six Delta Sierra. I don't know why that's doing that again. It did that to me the other day. Well, this adjusts to what, uh, like, uh, sure, it's one out of six kilo golf. No what airport you're at? Yeah. Uh, turn right at Alpha so 3, says. to the ramp and just on the ground. Turning right at Alpha 3, uh, no delay. I'm monitoring ground for I think you go. Are you planning on go uh, back over there to Victor land? Victor's still clear to land. Yeah, and then we'll There's go land. We'll mail Victor a traffic. See how bad it is out. Tango Tower, Arctic 3223 Tango, holding short Alpha 9, ready for takeoff. Arctic 3223 Tango, Glendale Tower, hold short of runway 19er landing traffic. And hold short 19er, uh, 23 Tango. Tango Tower, Arctic 545 Sierra Charlie's midfield for a touch and go with a uh, northeast departure. Cruiser 545 Sierra Charlie, extend down and I'll call you base. Extend down when 545 Sierra Charlie. RV-738, Romeo Victor, turn right, when able, taxi to the ramp, just on the ground. He's telling us that we can't turn yet? Ramp yeah, because somebody's Victor. coming. Okay. So that's the hard stuff of, like, knowing what... Yeah. See, now, we're slowing down, we'll set our some flaps to land. Yeah. Set a couple, this lets us fly slower. Yeah. We're still pretty high. It's pretty cool. Close this for a little bit while we're in the pattern where the sun's right on us. See, normally I'd be turning, but yeah. he, he hasn't cleared us yet.
RV8 Romeo Victor, if you're still on tower frequency, taxi to North Hangar is just more underground via the ramp. Yeah, so this was uh, 9 and 11 fuel, so 9 and 11, yeah. 11 right? So we can switch it and... Uh Four cruiser five four five Sierra Charlie based on approved runway one nine. A continued traffic will be holding in position for departure. Five four five Sierra Charlie, turn in left base. What? Uh, do you have your own call sign? Is that? What that is. Uh, okay. Three two two three Tango Every Delta, plane. runway one nine. A line up and wait. Sport cruiser turning left base. Sierra three, Charlie, Charlie sport three. cruiser. Yeah, November five four five Sierra Charlie. Oh, windy as hell. One, two, three. <coughs> Does it make you nervous landing when it's windy and stuff? No, nah, I don't get nervous. I just know I got to work for it. Yeah. Because this thing's so easy to land with with uh, with um, nice weather. Yeah. I mean, even though like. Uh like you're saying that it's a little, you know, like rough up here and everything. It doesn't really affect anything as far as like, I mean, just because you're bumping around doesn't change anything, does it? No. Like, I mean, it's just probably it's more uncomfortable than normal. Yeah, because literally this thing is like, when, like when me and Maddie flew, it was smooth as like silk. Experimental yeah. turning, early left turn, our south part for approved runway one nine clear for takeoff. See that guy sitting on the runway? Clear for takeoff. Hold yeah. short. Sport cruiser 545 Sierra Charlie, uh, runway 1 nano, clear touch and go. After touch and go, uh, he's taking off. The no? departure will be approved. 500. 545 Sierra Charlie, uh, clear to land runway 19 and uh, touch and go approved for northeast. So you usually just uh, re reply back what he said just so you yeah, know that he knows. Yeah, yeah you have to see how we're getting thrown around. Yeah. I'm actually going to take out some of these flaps. I feel like Amy gets real nervous. Does she? Ah, eh, not with landings and stuff like this. She gets nervous over mountains, and she hates turbulence. Like what we're getting right now, she hates that. But that scares her. Yeah. I guess there is quite a bit of runway. Six Delta Sierra, runway one nine, clear, touch and go. Clear touch and go, one out of six, go to zero. Roger, 3-2-2-3, Tango, southeast bound, frequency change approved. Southeast bound, frequency change approved, 2 three, Tango, thanks very much. So I went long on the runway. Yeah. Trying to get away from those buildings. I mean, I don't know shit about landing and stuff, but um, it seemed pretty good. Yeah, I went bad. And now you just take off and good to go again? Mm-hmm. You know how, obviously, the uh, this thing's made to go straight, you know, with the tires and everything? So if you land at an angle, will it, like, it can flip? Yeah. It's got a caster front wheel, so the front wheel's like a shopping cart. Uh, so okay. it will correct itself. Yeah. So it's pretty forgiving. But, uh, yeah, you can't go landing skipping too much sideways. Can you talk to these big airplanes or no? Uh, no. Thing ain't working. See all those little triangles? Glendale Tower is oh, uh, 49 or 6 uh, okay. Kilo Golf at Alpha 9, they're ready for takeoff, uh, close pattern traffic. Just 49 or 6 Kilo Golf, Glendale Tower, hold short of runway 1 9 landing traffic. Holding short runway 1 9 for landing traffic, uh, 49 or 6 Kilo Golf. See, so we have to watch these people. I don't know why my iPad's not working good either. Everything's glitchy today. Where does that get 
like service off of that radar. Oh, gotcha. Okay, we can turn our fuel pump off now. You don't need it on? Now that's an electrical one, it's a backup. It has a mechanical fuel pump just like on a car. Yeah. But you always use the backup one so you have mechanical and electric for takeoff landings and switching tanks. Gotcha. Or if you're staying in the pattern, flying low, I always click it on because... What's uh, for carburetor, pull hot air, cabin fear, what's that's, that? That's uh, carburetor heat. If you get ice building up in your carburetor, you pull that and it redirects the cold air intake through uh, past the exhaust and heats up the... How are you supposed to know if it's the ice on it? Because you, you're in an icy conditions and uh, oh, okay. it's more to it than that. But And also... Uh, uh, the engine starts performing bad. Sure, it's 496 kilo golf bend delta. I followed the experimental on the go into left traffic. The runway 19 are clear for takeoff. Oh, what? Runway 19 are uh, clear for takeoff uh, following the experimental end of that pattern. Uh, 496 kilo golf. 306 delta Sierra, early cross and approve. 60 Sierra. Ford Cruiser 545 Sierra, Charlie, northbound frequency change approved. 545 zero Charlie, frequency change approved, thank you. See, now he's telling me I can switch frequency. Level one, Roger, follow that traffic inbound. One, two, five, four, five. 843, air contact five miles west of Deer Valley Airport, say again, intentions. Uh, I do ask request uh, flat fully to hit that, let's get in for the sake. Do the solo. Roger. Number nine or eight, Mike, say altitude requesting en route. 6,500. What frequency is that? Luke? Oh. Now, another thing you got to do when you fly is, um... Say again, uh, call sign, calling Luke approach. Uh, Luke approach, Cessna 61298. Yeah. That's telling us if we're flying straight or not. Roger, Luke, altimeter 298. Okay, it goes on. Yeah, I gotcha. So the rule is... Climbing through 2,500. It's called I could go up step on the ball. If the ball is going towards the right, to you slightly push on the right pedal. And was that Yuma? Now we're flying straight. Yuma. Okay. So you always Kilo step on the ball, November. whichever side. That makes sense. Yankee, Lima. Roger, and you're uh, Cessna 172? This is uh, Cessna 185. Uh, 612. Roger, stand by for squad. Not too bad up here. Smooth up here. We get out here and I'll show you how to work everything and you can play around with it. Okay. Let me get out of the city and get over. Uh, you That's know weird. That's odd that. Uh, uh, like, we're five zero 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 will you ever be low enough around the mountains to. Contact like, Albuquerque Center 128. Can you go pretty low around the mountains or not really? Oh, yeah. Good we'll go do it. I'll fly like where I'm only like 200 feet off the mountain. Mike, That's I'll cool. Maintain 9,000. Go down and you can see PIR Raceway. PIR? Phoenix International Raceway where they have NASCAR. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. You recognize... Um, coming up on Arrowhead Mall. See it over there? That's Arrowhead Mall right there. I don't see it. That big white building down there? With the pyramid on top? Frequency change proof. Are you sure? Positive. See that triangle? That pyramid? See it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was lost. For so for this request. What the, what's that over there? That community with all the water? That's where Pat Collins lives. Oh, okay. Victor contact. Phoenix approach 123.7. November 245, Mike Alpha, contact Albuquerque Center 125.4. 1254, good day, sir. I don't know, I think it's Peoria Sports Complex. Oh, okay. I think it's kind of fun when it's all kind of bumpy. Yeah. Kind of feels like you're falling for a second. Luke Approach, Sport Cruiser November 545 Sierra Charlie is over Arrowhead Mall at 2700, headed up to the uh, Lake Pleasant area. Club one, say again. Sport Cruiser November 545 CO Charlie is over uh, Arrowhead Mall at 2700.
know why it's doing that. Wow. Never had this happen before. Number six one two nine or eight squawk zero seven three three. Zero seven three three six one two nine or eight. Look about P three eighty four over Lake Pleasant with request. <laughs> and uh Sub one and quiet hours are currently over. Would you like that short entry? I didn't get to hear what he had to say. Roger, you can see direct box three for short entry. And roller one, quiet hours are currently over. Would you still like your straight in or would you like a short entry? Luger Park, Ski 384 over Lake Pleasant with request. Ski 384, Squawk 0720, correction 0270. 0270, Ski 384. Luke approaches a Sport Cruiser 5450, Charlie. Again, I was having communication problems. Did you get my request? Say again. We're northbound up the Lake Pleasant area. Was that Ski 384? Sport Cruiser November 545, Sierra Charlie. Number 545, Sierra Charlie, Squawk 0262. What's that all about? Club 1, traffic 11 o'clock, 4 miles, westbound Archer, 4,500. He, he identifies us on his radar, he's right over there. Uh, traffic's for Club 1, traffic 11 o'clock, 4 controller? miles, westbound Archer, 4,500. Uh, Luke, I'm having to talk Club 1, real it should be no fact, you're fast passing beneath the contact tower, channel 3. Keeps clicking off if I talk long. Yeah. Mesquite 384, radar contact, 1 mile north to Lake Pleasant, you going to uh, maneuver? Uh, no, we'd like to request the uh, RNAV GPS level 19 in the Glenda. We have information echo. Roger, maintain VFR, practice approach crew, no separation services provided. All right, VFR, practice approach crew, then uh, E34. Number 545 Sierra Charlie, radar contact 8 miles west of your Valley Airport. I thought 0262 is like. 545 Sierra Charlie, thank you. I thought that was like Roller one, Roger. altitude or something you had to keep no, or something. That's a code. Now, number five, Sierra Charlie, flighting 320. Vectors remain outside the uh, approach path of a flight of two F-16s. 545 Sierra Charlie, was that traffic for me? A affirmative, flighting 320. Fly 320, copy. He's, two. He's telling us to fly 320 because there's some F-16s coming up. 320 is in 320. 3200 altitude? No, 320 degrees. Oh. That's a compass. Oh, okay, I didn't know 320 as in. Uh, uh, transition to Hero Band, uh, request 508. Mesquite 802, Roger, change to my frequency 125.45. 125.45. See how busy it is around here? You don't get this anywhere. Number 4311 Tango, look approach, we got 10 meters 2983. I wonder how hard it is to land one of those jets. I don't know. See, I'm holding 320 like you asked me. Number yeah. 545 Sierra Charlie, traffic no fact to resume on navigation, say destination. 545 Sierra Charlie, thank you. I'm just headed up to the Lake Pleasant area to do some maneuvers. Roger. So I'm going to take us up to 4,500. Now he's telling me I can go where I want. God damn, you see that trim? I got this trim way down over there. See that little tab sticking down? Yeah. What? That little tab on the wing, sticking yeah. down. That's my trim. I'm trying to because I'm having. Number five four five Sierra Charlie, you have traffic north four miles southbound. Archer four thousand going to conduct a GPS in the window. Five four five Sierra Charlie, I'll be looking for that traffic. The Mesquite three eighty four traffic twelve o'clock four miles northbound. Light Sport three thousand six hundred. Right here. Yeah. Mesquite 384. See Mesquite 384 on my... Mesquite 802, look approach out of here. So he's plus three? So 300. He's, he's pretty close then? Yeah, he's plus 300, but he's over here. He's 
He's up 300 feet? Yeah, now 200 because I'm gaining on him. But he's out that way. Huh. Number one nine or nine or eight Mike, contact Albuquerque Center 126.45. 2645. I know he's my center. Now he's the same height as us. He's at 4,000. So we'll approach RV 222 Kilo Golf 9,500. Oh, RV 222 Kilo Golf. Quick approach. Look out. 10 meter 29 or 83. I went wide to stay away from him. He should be. I see him. Where? Right there. Oh, yeah, there he is. Same? Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, he's over there somewhere, and he's he's 3,100 3, feet higher than us. Uh, do most people have that thing that you have right here? More and more people do now, but no, most old timers don't. That's cool, you can see uh, Lake Pleasant pretty deep. Yeah. Over by the dam, especially. We'll fly over by the dam. I'll let you fly over there. I think that's where the fire station is, too. Yeah, I don't know where that... Uh They're flying around up here too, doing the same thing we are, only higher. Yeah. They're just hanging out up here, over here. Yeah. Quick rush, E384, request for to change. Give you a. E384, Roger, ready to serve terminated. Remain the, current uh, squawk, frequency change for us. All right, your squawk, and for the change for E384. Number 545 Sierra Charlie, how much further north are you headed? 545 Sierra Charlie, we're going to be hanging out on the north end of the lake. Roger, register is terminated. Squawk. Frequency change approved, thank you. Damn, now i got to figure out what, uh, what, uh, frequency to go to? Yeah. One two two nine. One two two point nine. Pleasant Valley traffic support cruiser five four five CO Charlie is over Lake Pleasant at four thousand five hundred doing maneuvers. Feel this, this feels good. Drop it. <laughs> Imagine how it was for those dudes in the back in the day when they'd get like fighting and stuff and like the G's when like turning and yeah. all that. That's crazy to think it's one oh, I wonder if that white thing is it. That looks flat. True. Uh, crazy to think how they had freaking uh, like guns on these, and they would oh I know follow each other. And the weird thing is, the gun would shoot through the propeller. They were timed. Yeah. All right, let me get you back up to. Is this what you were saying that they uh, that they should make mandatory? Like everyone has one? Yes. That makes sense, yeah. I feel like it makes it a lot safer, you know? Yeah. Because I can usually see people coming before he notifies me. Now, yeah. there's nobody monitoring us anymore. I switch frequencies. Yeah. I'm actually on the same frequency as that uh, freaking glider place. Yeah. Just because if they're up here, I want to hear them. Um, what was I going to say? Um, I forgot what I was going to say.
All right, put your feet where mine are. The, okay. On the bottoms. Yeah. Heels on the ground. Yeah. And then your hand down here, you kind of rest it on that. Yeah. And this is your throttle. Your other hand is always supposed to be on the throttle. So okay. you, have to, you have to squeeze that little thing. Yeah. But for right now, keep it at 5,000 RPM. Okay. At 4,500 feet. And that's like a gun sight. Yeah. But look out here more. That's just a reference. So yeah. Turn that way, we'll go over the lake. Uh, Am I using the foot thingy? Yeah, watch your ball. Easy there, Tiger. With this wind like this, it'll flip you over. Gotcha. Uh, I don't know yeah. how much I'm putting, how much force I'm putting down on this thing. On what? My feet. Well, just a little bit. Make that. You're going down. There you go. Well, it doesn't feel like it's pushing or anything. Yeah, it does. Put your feet a little higher on the, where the, there you go, up high. Is that working now? Yeah. It just doesn't feel like anything's pushing. I'm gonna lean that way. See, watch. Oh, so I'm pushing it like that much. Okay. Yeah. I feel like if I turn, it just doesn't really turn, if that makes sense. Well, when you do a, I'm going to hold it with you. Okay. It's still your airplane. Yep. So when you turn sharp like this, yeah. for it to really turn, you got to pull back on the stick a little bit. Oh, okay. That, see? see, that? that's what I was wondering, because it kind of felt like I was just leaning. Yeah. Your plane. Yeah, we're at 53, so back her off a little bit to about 5,000. And then the rule is, you know, you, you want to glance at your gauges, obviously they're important. Yeah. But nothing in here can kill you. No. Everything yeah. out there can kill you. Other planes, um, you know, yeah. terrain, obviously. For sure. It's crazy how, like, if you go like this, like that, just right there was like, it's like quite a bit of movement. See, down, here's your ground speed. This is your air speed. Yeah. This is your ground speed. So you're going 110 knots, which is more like 120 some miles per hour. Oh, God. I didn't really realize how much, like, you barely touch it, and it's it's going. Oh, my vet closed. See if your vet closed too. That's See, you it's can get some now. pretty good air because, well, they, our airspeed is 90, which means it's really about 100. Yeah. So it's a 100 mile an hour wind hitting you through here. Yeah. And there ain't shit in there. Ain't even a screen in there. It's just wide open. Yeah. All right, this is you. I'm not doing anything. There's a plane right there. Oh, yeah. Traffic. That's an F-16. I'm not seeing him. Is that not an F-16? No. Oh. He doesn't have the right GPS thing in his uh, ABS, because I can't see him. Traffic, 10 o'clock, 100 feet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there he is. He finally showed up, see? Huh. Go back down towards the lake. Do you give rudder to while you're turning? Mm hmm. Just to make the ball even? Yep. That's called a coordinated turn. Otherwise, you're crabbing and flying sideways. Yeah. Now your altitude's creeping down a little bit. I could see, uh, I mean, not that it's like anything right now, but I could see how people could get like flustered doing this. Cause it's a bunch going on. Oh, well, there's a lot going on, especially if you're in the city and you got all these different air traffic controllers talking to you. Yeah. It's a lot harder than people think when they think they're going to just go get their pilot's license. Yeah. Yeah, see, I wasn't pressing it, like, I mean, now I get it like that. Yeah. But I wasn't probably pre uh, pressing it last time. Now, there's something else you got to learn. What's that? What direction are we flying? Uh, like south, southeast. 
Southwest. Southwest. So, whenever we're flying in a western direction, I'll stop the video. Whenever we're flying in a western direction, uh -huh. Southwest. So, whenever we're flying in a western direction, I'll stop the video. Whenever we're flying in a western direction, uh -huh. we have to fly at altitudes that are even numbers plus five. So, 42 plus five? No, even numbers. Four plus five is 4,500. Okay, so. And now, if we were flying east, Anything on the east side of the, um, yeah, give it more gas when you're trying to go up. Anything on the east side of the compass, we have to fly odd numbers plus five, like 35, 55, 75. Okay. And that, that's to keep us from running into each other. Uh, to uh, 55, we're six miles uh, to, the, uh, to the south, it's on for landing. Uh, we're gonna be landing to the, uh, to the north. Or to now the, the reason north. why uh, we have plus five, is because we're flying what's called VFR right now, which means visual flight rules. Everything we're doing, we're doing by looking. Yeah. Uh, so you got that airplane straight ahead of you? Uh, no. Way out straight ahead, right over your hood? Yeah, I see them. Now, if we were flying instruments, there's such thing as IFR, and they just follow instrument headings. They fly 4,000, 5,000. They fly the, the even numbers, that makes sense? Yeah. 3,000, 4,000. We do the plus five because we are uh, visual. And it's to try to keep everybody from flying at the same, you know, running into each other. Yeah, so right now at 4,500, uh, on like 4,800, yeah. 4,900 RPM. Yeah, perfect. So uh, I want to change our, uh, see our fuel? Uh, it's not ready yet. It's pretty close. See how we got them uneven? Yeah. So we have to put on our fuel pump switch our gas tank. I let that run for a minute or so. Make sure that we get good fuel. So where are we at right now? That's us? Yeah. We're flying south from the main part of the lake. So there's quite a bit of people over here then, no? Yeah, right down here there's somebody that's only a thousand feet below us. A hundred foot below us actually. Two hundred feet below us flying away over here. So why don't we go out to Wickenburg? I don't know where that's at. All right, fly uh, that way. You see that big, you see the mountains way off in the distance, that one looks like a boob? Yeah, just chill. Uh, 4,500 feet to the boob. 7 will stop at Cap 265 is now uh, 3.9 3 miles south uh, uh, to, the, to the south. We're gonna, we're gonna do a right downwind for, uh, actually we'll, we'll do a, we'll what do a- What you going to? What? That's fine. One, one. Oh, okay. Got So we're at. I gotta talk to. Uh, oh, hi. Oh, you're yeah, you're okay. See, I just find it like I feel like I'm going like this. I'm well, We're gonna we're gonna be a few minutes. You uh, if you feel like going now, feel free to take off. I feel like I just go like this instead of turn. Well, we'll if you the, if we'll you just lean the plane, it will turn. It's yeah. when you're trying to turn sharper, you got to give it a little back pressure. Okay. Ugh. 
Ugh. Aye, aye, aye. See, this ain't smooth. We're over the mountains. Mountains have gusts shooting up, you know? Yeah. Why do I feel like we're sideways? Oh, look at your ball. Oh, you're good. I'm gonna switch over to Luke again. Apex one climbing team block one six thousand to one seven thousand. Where are we? Oh, we're heading away from everyone. Yeah, I'm watching them. We're good. Terminal five zero Victor traffic ten o'clock two miles westbound Archer eight thousand four hundred. One thing, oh, traffic 11 o'clock, one mile eastbound, Skyhawk, Niner, Thousand, as you inside. Luke approach, Sport Cruiser November 545 Sierra Charlie is headed uh, westbound out towards uh, Wickenburg from Lake Pleasant at 4,500. Oxford 386, Luke approach, you got 2 minute, 2 niner, 83. Sport Cruiser calling Luke Sport Sagan, call sign. November 545 Sierra Charlie leaving Lake Pleasant headed west towards Wickenburg at 4,500. Roger, I have no traffic for you. Frequency change for Five four five zero Charlie, I'm about to enter your practice area. Roger, Squawk 0264. 0264, thank you. Apex 1, frequency change approved. He, he got confused. He's like, yeah, have fun. Frequency change approved. Like, no, dude, I'm about to go in your area. See this white? Yeah. That's Luke. Okay. See all these racetracks? Huh? Yeah. That's a racetrack down there. Um, that's Charlie 2 Kill Golf. We're flying straight at a really big... Test track. Five, two, three, three, See it? Zero, five, so Where? See it right there? Out to the left? Yeah, straight. On the water? Yeah, it looks like water right there. Yeah. Are you requesting GPS in a good year? We're going to fly out and I'll show you that. Uh, remember that private neighborhood that has their own runway? Yeah, yeah. How do you expect the vision approach in a good year? Runway 2. How many go to the right more? Am I, am I going the right way? Or no? going good. Okay. Go over that racetrack if you want to look at it. Can you see it? Now yeah, we're turning a little bit. Oh, it's for 368. Your traffic is now 10 to 11 o'clock in uh, three miles, indicating 3,500. Yeah, that's cool. That's where I want to live. There's open, there's open uh, houses for sale. There's lots. You can build your own house. Oh, okay. And you just build a big garage. Your plane Luke fits approach, in. Skyhawk six four zero five six. We're seven miles to the north of Buckeye B O R. We're going to be in the street. He's passing us on my side. Thirty minutes or so. Huh? Not for three sixty eight. Ah, there's a guy out there. One o'clock and uh, nine miles. Passing us, but you want to go down to Buckeye? Buckeye. This area? Buckeye Airport. Approach, uh, rolling sure. Two one at Goodyear Airport. Let's see here. How do I do this? Doctor uh, three six eight. Contact Goodyear Tower. Now have a good day. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna try to make it. Luke approach Skyhawk six four zero five six. Is six miles north of the like Buckeye Airport. Nav or Nav? I mean, in this area. Uh, I tell you where to go. Doctor six four zero five six. Roger. Yeah, I can't figure out how to November 64056, I see it, but I can't make it go to it. What's that line there of just uh, like a canal or something? Yeah. Start heading that way, southbound. I don't know why I can't get it on. That's cool how when you like turn it like this, you can see everything. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, 43, Roger, radar service terminates clock VFR, frequency change through today. I wonder why it won't hit. Oh, there we go. 
Okay, 204 traffic, 1 o'clock, 2 miles south on PA 20, 5,500 as you know. That's not bad as far as like turbulence goes. November 2, no, 3, 3, 0 o'clock, start looking approach you up. All right, now. Bad coral flow, that? altimeter 294. Yeah. That's telling you how to get to Buckeye Airport. Okay. And it's right here. And when we get closer, we can't even land there because there's no air traffic controller there. Yeah. So we have to figure out. Uh, You're gonna watch everyone else and see which way they're going in. And well, we well first off, we gotta figure out which way the wind's blowing because you only land into the wind. Yeah. And that tells us which way to land. Do you plan on landing there? Or is that? Yeah, we'll do a touch and go. Okay. Especially if it's a windy day, it's good to practice. 204 traffic, no factor. See, I can touch this. Huh. And it gives me all the weather information for... Uh, so how do you know who's in like order of precedence for landing? Ah, uh, there's rules. Approach, that's a 2134 Mike. Just uh, like uh, out of Deer Valley, we are at 3,000. Just like right of way with cars, there's rules feet. for airplanes too. Uh, requesting passage through your airspace and uh, flight following down. See, right now they're saying they're landing on runway 17. 2134 Mike, look approach squad 0237. Squad 0237, 2134 Mike. And 17 is right traffic. All. Number 925. When you're in the pattern of a uh, airport, right? You're making a rectangle, right? When you're landing. Uh -huh. Well, all airports two, three, four, Mike, right contact, normally four, uh, west, southwest of, uh, are what's called left traffic, which means you're making left turns. Yeah. Unless, otherwise, see how that's in red? It says right traffic. Because okay. okay. this, this one particular uh, runway we're going to be using is uh, one five seven Romeo Charlie right traffic. traffic nine to okay. ten o'clock two miles maneuvering indicating uh, four thousand correction uh, altitude unknown. Which we can go straight in actually. And uh, seven Romeo Charlie that traffic is indicating four thousand two hundred. One five seven Romeo Charlie booking. I do have them on the screen but no visual. Yeah so we can actually come straight in. Just straight into it? Look. Runway 17 is where we're coming in. Okay. So what we'll do is start talking to them before we get there to make sure there's a big racetrack too, see it? Yeah. And we'll start talking and seeing if there's other planes in the area and we'll set up the land straight in. Luke approach, Port Cruiser 545 Sierra Charlie, uh, requesting a frequency change over to Buckeye. Number 545 Sierra Charlie, Roger. Radar service terminated, squad CFR, frequency change approved. Have a good day. Thank you very much, 545 Sierra Charlie. So now we got to push VFR, puts us back to 1200. That's just a general radar beacon that goes out to people. Yeah. And we got to figure out what frequency we need to be on here. Buckeye, we need one, two, two, nine. One, two, two. What was that little beep? Uh, I don't know. Sometimes if you hold the talk too long, it beeps. Either that or the engine's about to quit. I don't know which. Yep. <laughs> Both are not good. <laughs> well, we started the day with no radio, so yeah. What, what would you do then? Just land? No, I have that spare radio. That's oh, why. Okay. That's why. I, cause there's only one radio in this whole plane. So that's why I have that spare. Gotcha. So I wasn't worried about it. And if you don't, you're just you're fucked. You actually got to put this on a code. It's seven seven or seven six like zero emergency zero. or something. It's not an emergency. It's a code that means I don't have any radio. Oh, okay. So then they'll just do everything they can to like get everyone out. Yeah, they, they, they have light signals. Okay, so there's somebody flying over there. I can hear him. But he's doing a full stop, so we'll let him get stopped. 119. 
Traffic not available. And I like to verify that the ATIS is telling me the same as what this is as far as weather. He's using 1.7, so yeah, because the wind's out of, 1.7 uh, means 1.7.0 heading, that's what that means on a runway. Yeah. They just drop the zero. And so the wind's coming out of 200 on a compass, and we're landing at 170 on a compass, so we're kind of landing into the wind, but we can do this and listen. Buckeye Municipal Airport, automated weather observation, 1, 6, 1, 1, Zulu, weather, wind, 1, niner, 0 at 6, visibility, more than, 1, 0, sky condition, clear below 1, 2,000, temperature, 3, 4, Celsius, 2.1, 0, Celsius, altimeter, 2, niner, 8, 7, remarks, density altitude, 3,500. Okay, we're good there. Okay, we have somebody flying straight at us over here. But you can keep going this way because that's the way we gotta go. But we'll have to keep an eye out for him. He's at the exact same altitude as us. And he's off to my this guy right here? Or is that not a guy? No, that's not a guy. This guy right here. He's flying straight. He should be about a mile or two off my wing. There he is. Over there. I see him. Oh, yeah. See that? See that? Nobody paying attention to us. I'm listening to that guy. Like, he just turned base. Yeah. Which means we're going to slow down a bit. Is that the engine knocking? Yeah. <laughs> We're going down. <laughs> Assume crash position. <laughs> One, two, three. Fuel pump on. Can't There's nothing locked. to this thing. If you messed up landing, it's yeah. It's a it's a lost cause. That's a school right there. Cool, you just flying right over everyone. Buckeye traffic, Sport Cruiser 545 Sierra Charlie is on a short final runway 17, touch and go with a southeast departure. Buckeye. Are no one talking just because there's no one here? Or? Yeah, that guy that was talking, he's parked. I heard him. And there's another guy inbound, but he's. Uh, coming from Chandler. We're past him when we're leaving. It's hard, up. it's hard to tell when you're going to hit. Yeah. Like you're kind of like, oh, we're going to hit. Nope, not yet. Feel the wind push us sideways? Yeah. Yeah, it's windy over here. Look how little that, that's who was talking right there. Oh, those guys down there? You could fly one of those, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. Cessna? Yeah. Easily? Yeah. I'm just not certified for it. What does a GPH mean? 
software. Uh, gallons per hour. That's how much the fuel we're burning. 6.8 oh, okay. gallons per hour. Gotcha. That's because we're in a climb. This thing normally burns about uh, five gallons an hour. Okay. At 140 miles per hour ish. 120 you can knots. It, so about four hours you can drive climbing. Uh, depending on how much how, how much your passengers weigh, how much fuel you got, and how much you know luggage, because it's all weight bearing. Yeah. Uh, uh, you can actually fly for like 800 nautical miles or something. Huh. In these little ones. Traffic. Right there. Oh yeah. Three o'clock. Six hundred feet above. You see? That's like a jet. Yeah, that is a jet. It's F-16. The aircraft calling inbound from the southwest. Say your call sign. Pass. Oxford 253. Good your tower. Ident. Ident 253. You see? Him? He passed us. The guy that came, the guy that showed up. Oh, that jet. Yeah, he passed us. I'm back there. All right, there's a frequency for. Oxford 253. Ident observed. Make right traffic. Runway 21. Report entering downwind. Right traffic, uh, one way two, and then we both uh, and then we the uh, two, two eight nine two. For what? Uh, this area out here. Once we get over here, it's getting hot. The plane don't want to climb. There's somebody over here, it's only 700 feet above us over here. Right there. Well, that's an airliner. Where? See it? Oh, yeah. He's free. Look at that airliner way up there. Yeah. Well, we got enough gas to fly around south if we wanted to, or you can practice learning to fly, do different things like turns and stuff, or um, we could even go low down over those grass belts and you could practice doing uh, turns and stuff, or we can, uh, we got a good 30 minute uh, flight back to uh, Glendale and go get some breakfast. Uh... I'll fly a little bit more. I don't know where right. we're at. Yeah, let's go straight out this way. Okay. You got it. It would be cool to fly to uh, uh, Colorado. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, there's another one. See the yellow plane? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see him on here too. He's uh, 2,100 feet below us. Oh, that's 2,000 feet? Yeah. Huh. This thing's cool, huh? Well yeah. worth 900 bucks I had to spend. That little thing there. 900 bucks? 900 bucks. But I feel a lot better. Safer. Mm -hmm. So hard to see airplanes. Valley traffic, Sirius 85 Monaco Fox, short over Liberty Bridge, 3,500, turning southbound. Be just to the west side of water, washed up eastbound towards Mobile Frame. See that sail port right there you're headed towards? Yeah. They do uh, jumping there. Jumping, skydiving. Like civilian? Uh huh? Really?
I mean, we're kind of above a mountain already. I didn't even see that one. Yeah. See on the other side of that mountain straight ahead of us? Yeah. There's a runway right there at the bottom. Okay. And you're right over the top of another runway at right on your side. Straight down under you, there's a runway. Okay. It's called Mobile. Rainbow Valley Raven 1 is at 2,500, uh, one mile north of the Southern Cater Shed. We proceed to Lugok 6, back to Goodyear Rainbow Traffic Dark Court. We just do like a U around this. Or yeah. what? Sure. You're flying. I just don't know if there's like certain area you can't go or something. Nah, you're good. Play motion. Raven uh, 3, too much south of the green field. Still on the wash, 2,500 feet. We'll get the car right away. Okay. So when you do a U-turn, wherever you want, whichever way you want, and we start heading back westbound, we either got to go up to 65 or drop 45. to 45. We ought to be getting pretty close to that one little airport I was telling you about. Oh, it's, it's right there. Ak Chin right there. That's that little one I was telling you about. Gotcha. Are there any other planes around us or no? We're high by ourselves. They're low. They're all lower than us. Gotcha. Nobody too close. See now we're burning 5.7 gallons an hour. Gotcha. Oh yeah, I see. Which is a crazy good gas mileage, yeah. actually. See, we could go home that way, but it's not as fun. Traffic not available. If you go home that way, you gotta hug the mountains, and it's rough and boring. And then you gotta watch, because you see that blue line right there? That's Phoenix, Bravo. You can't go through that, or? We have, we have to get permission to go through it, or we can go under it. It's like an umbrella, and you can fly under the umbrella. Yeah. But the umbrella gets kind of low in places, if that makes sense. Yeah. They're like shelves. It, it looks like an upside down wedding cake. That's what it looks like. At first, it's kind of hard to understand it, but when you start, I got on uh, websites. Table Valley, Banana 5585 Yankee over the NDB, tracking outbound on the 288 bearing the, outbound uh, mobile. And, uh, um, what did I tell you? Oh, there was these websites that they make three dimensional cartoon. Uh, showing air spaces okay. and, a, and a little pretend airplane flying around them. Yeah. And it finally made sense to me. I'm like, oh, okay. That makes sense. Where is Akshin? We should be close. Actually, we went, we went fast. Huh? Went faster than I thought. You can be young and get your license, can't you? Yeah. I think. Uh. I want to say 17. I haven't read it in a while. I want to say 17. You can use your GI Bill to pay for it. Yeah. And you could go ahead, since you're so young, you have more time in life to fly more things. I would go ahead and get my private license so you can fly Cessnas and everything. Yeah. Four-seaters. But for me, at age 51, me and Amy want a cheap, affordable plane. I decided to stay with Sport, but... If I was younger, I would get a private. Oh, that's 
Let's see, right over here, let's watch out. We got a plane 700 feet below us coming right at us. Snuck up on me. Stay right here? Yeah. He's dropping. He's 1,000 feet below us now. We're good. Should be right around here. I should see him. To the left there? He's right under us now. I just didn't see him. You're right under the I-10 now, somewhere here. That goes to Tucson. Huh, see Picacho Peak straight ahead? The one that's like a little jagged? Yeah. There's a racetrack down here too. Uh, What's that down there, a casino or something? Yeah, Ak Chen Casino. Uh, Indian Casino? Yeah. That's why that airport's called Ak Chen. Yeah, right over there. There's a racetrack. Can't see it though. There's times when I've been up there. Oh, there it is, straight ahead. See the racetrack? Big round. Oh yeah, Akchen Airport, that little one I told you I could never find? Yeah. It's straight ahead. Oh no, that's a different one, that's a north track. Alright, we got somebody coming up. On your side. I see him. Okay. Well he's going the same way we are, so let's pick a direction that we aren't going to intersect him. Out left or right? I'd say right, because we're going to go he's home. He's turning now. Okay, let's see what he does. He's dropping under a seat. That looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah, you can see like the wings. Yeah, he's like coming like right towards us now, yeah, or behind us. Yeah, that's cool. Well, there's two tracks, and this is the north track. Traffic. And, and down there, there is uh, another track. Cool. He's coming behind us, it looks like. Oh, no, he's going away from us. Yeah, he's going back north. It's cool. That's a runway there? Is that what you're saying? Or right. a track? No, it's a track. Race track. And there's a race track right there. Yeah. And... Right down in those mountains there, there's a little airport I was telling you about. Okay. It's right here. Yeah. So it's right down there. It's hard as shit to see all the time. Fly over it. Huh? We'll fly over it and then we'll head back because we're down to... Gas is not low, low, but... It's crazy how, like, they would send me out to get my license. You'd have to go out on your own. Yeah. And fly to a... a an airport, uh -huh. and you'd be surprised when you're brand new how hard it is to see them from the air. I thought this was it right there, like intermingled in the racetrack. Oh, we're flying over the. Uh, it shows us off to the right, and that's to the right. Yeah, the, actually, I was wrong. The airport's over there. It's not where I thought it was. Huh. Head that way.